I am Hannah Bokari, the uh, founder and country director for Commission Arts Foundation, Sierra Leone. And my name is Beate Eber. I'm the founder and also the first chairperson for Commit and Act Germany. The work of Commit and Act started with a thought, actually, um, with the thought that came up when I listened to my friend Sarah Culberson. She is half Sierra Leonean and she talked about the terrible things her family experienced in the civil war in Sierra Leone. As a clinical psychologist and trainer in my therapy method, I thought, wow, Sierra Leone might be a place to go to do something useful. And I started Commit and Act in 2010 with my husband and friends. And I just went there and explored with people. I asked them, what do you think? Would it be useful to have psychotherapy tools? Um, I asked teachers, uh, chiefs, priests, and they all responded like, it, it would be really great to have that. So in the end, Father Peter Conte from Caritas organized the first workshops for Commit and Act in 2011. So I met Beate in the workshop that she came to organize in 2011, and I was one of the participants in that workshop. And after the workshop, I find it very much interesting and helpful, especially using the arts approach, applying it in my life as a result of my uh, experiences during the war. And so I found life beyond my trauma using the arts approach. And so I started sharing it with other professionals my colleagues and even my community. And it was very much helpful for our context. Yeah, it was amazing for me to see um, that we brought a Western therapy method, acceptance and commitment therapy, this is ACT. And we had no idea if that would work in the context of Sierra Leone. And Hannah was just such a bright example, um, how she immediately adapted it to her culture and saw the benefit and experienced it for herself and also brought it to her, all her community, even to colleagues, to um, all the people in her country and how she kind of connected to my vision. Um, we were like magnets finding each other and she amplified this work in a way that I could never do from outside. Yeah, so after that, the training, I, I, we think about uh, how we can start uh, an organization and so I think a lot around it and I start sharing with friends and families that I wanted to start an organization that caters for different categories of people and so I shared with Beate and she started supporting me and so we started I started the uh, Committee Art Foundation Sierra Leone where we help different categories of people women men and children and even other communities at the moment yeah Our vision is to empower people in the face of all circumstances, to choose their life according to their values and also empower others to do the same. And sometimes we put it like we are connecting, even through cultures. We are um, caring for each other and we are creating something new and safe for everybody from there. We started to train local counselors in Sierra Leone um, and then we expanded this work to all kinds of people because um, so many people requested to have workshops too and said, could you help us too, like policemen and women who suffered from the violence they experienced in their daily work, teachers, social workers, priests, um, all kinds of professions, even motorbike, taxi riders um, who are known for their violence. People came and said, can you help us with those tools? Part of the work that we are doing, we provide temporary shelter for all abused girls and medical, and we work with the police in prosecuting all the perpetrators that are abusing the girls in uh, the country. So we have temporary shelter in Bo and Makene, where we provide it for these abused girls. And we work also with the parents of these girls by providing them trainings in our approach, the arts approach, and we also help them to have uh, better skills in how to uh, do good parenting for these girls. Some of the parents of the girls, they even go to our couples training called Dare to Connect, 
um, it's for couples who live in poverty, who have violence in their relationship, and we teach them exercises how can how they can communicate peacefully and shift the traditional roles. It's very successful. So right now we also have another project uh, that we fight against uh, female genital mutilation, empowering uh, community members, parents to see the need to continue promoting the guide child education. And we have like 600 girls with support from German doctors and Committee on Germany. Uh, we are providing the support to these 600 girls who are not part of the female genital mutilation. And we work with their parents, we work with the girls in their schools and and there's also a huge number, over 3,000 girls that wants to be part of this project. And their parents keep knocking at our doors and uh, they are passionate about being part of this project, but we are not having all the funds or all what it takes to enroll these girls, this other 3,000, yeah. I, I'm most proud of the permanent structures we built in Sierra Leone and that we, uh, or Hana Bokari as the country director, um, has more than 50 local staff now, all local people. She is um, uh, independent. She is ruling her NGO and we just support her financially. And I like this kind of partnership. And uh, through the community work we have done in the time of Ebola and also now, um, and through the direct training, so far, this is end of 2021 now, around 360,000 people benefited from our work. That's a lot. Yeah, so in addition to what Beate just said, uh, one of the biggest achievements is also that we have community structures where we have locals that are based in the different chiefdoms that we are operating in Bo and Bombali and Tonkolili districts. We have a bunch of teachers who are volunteers who are also uh, cascading our method in different communities. And we also have uh, a very good collaboration with the Ministry of Gender and Children's Affairs, where they offer us a space in Makeni, Bombali district. We have our office and a shelter for girls that are abused. So what is unique about Committee on Arts work is that we empower people to, uh, to lead a change. We don't tell people what to do, but when we go to a community, we engage the people to look at what is important for them and how they can work towards those values. So that's what we do. We create a safe place and we help people to transform their own lives according to their values. I think that's very unique. Yeah, we never came to this country to change the culture or to change anything. We came to support people with the multiple challenges they have there, with the suffering. And people use the tools for, for whatever they think they would like to use it. If you like our work and if you would like to contribute to our work, you can do it in several ways. You can follow us on social media. Um, you can do a monthly contribution, which is great because then we can uh, plan with your money. Um, or you can just do a single contribution from time to time. Or maybe third way, you would like to contribute with your capacities and find out about the local chapters and join their teams. And we even have an awesome way to contribute and to get something really valuable back. Um, this is to join the webinars that are set up by Praxis and the U.S. chapter of Commit and Act uh, with the brightest people in the world. Check it on our website. And for those of you who are in Sierra Leone, you can contribute to the work that Commit and Act is doing by uh, being part of our fundraising drive and also being an ambassador for the organization, telling others about the organization and the work we do. So our biggest dream is to um, create a safe place for all Sierra Leoneans where we have a country free of violence and even transform other countries as well. So we want to see Sierra Leone free of violence where a, a girl can go to fetch water and no man 
abuser. So that is our, that is our biggest dream. Yes, and it works so well in Sierra Leone that um, we would like to have like a blueprint that you can bring to every other country um, for their different needs. And even honestly to countries like Germany, the so-called developed countries, who lack a lot of what we are doing here, the community building um, and the caring for each other. Thank you so much for watching this video, which is a great contribution to our work because you know, now know about it, you're part of our network. And by sharing this video, um, you um, expand this work. So thank you for doing that. Yeah, thank you for watching our video and we are very much open and you are welcome to join the work that we are doing and being part of it and contributing it. Please share the video and just spread it to friends and families. Thank you.